We are, we're back. Welcome to the end game. The game changes massively when you hit TT25, as yeah. you would know from having watched me. Yeah. Everything just, everything you'd done flipped on its head. Yeah. This yeah. is the first in a series of prepare, pre 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 preparation videos. <laughs> Because once you hit TT25, the end game unlocks and all sorts of things become available, including mm. Pets Ascension, um, The Void, D15.2, D15 itself. There's a lot of cool stuff and a lot yeah. of it requires your attention so that you don't get caught out. You need to prepare before you hit TT25. Preferably. it's there's If you reach TT25 and you haven't done any preparation, you're in for a rough TT. Mm -hmm. Let's hand over to Violet. She'll talk you through D15 Part 1. So, yeah, D15 Part 1. So, finally, first new gungeon in a while. Initially, you need your Ultra Omega sword and Ultra Omega armor. So, D15 Part 1 means 50 Ultras on top of the rest of your normal stuff needed for your run, and about 500 extra Dragon Scales. But that's not all you need. For the first time, you've actually got pet requirements. You need one of each pet type, dragon, cat, dog, at tier five or above. This is the part that it's good to start working on early. If you're struggling to get your pets to tier five, check out our um, pet guide video, uh, which covers pet fusions and skills. Then, once you've got all that sorted, you can do the dungeon. We've got a guide for that, so check out our D15 guide. Once you complete D15 Part 1, the dragon drops a time key as it runs away. The time key enables you to time jump. When you use the slash time jump command, you get a total score for everything that is presently in your inventory, your levels, your stats, and your gear. That score enables you to buy stuff from the time jump shop. There is a lot of stuff available in the time jump shop and uh, a lot of it looks really, really cool. There is really only one thing that you want out of the time jump shop at TT25. Now, before we talk about what you want, how is the score calculated? Jeez. There is an excellent chart on the wiki that actually covers all of the exact numbers for what things are worth. However, the biggest things to remember about the time jump score, the super time travel score, is two levels equals one score, two dragon scales equals one score, 25 rubies equals one score. 25, 30, and 35 potato, carrot, or bread equals one score. If you have completed D15 part one, and you have nothing in your inventory, then you have 350 point something score. The best item out of the shop for TT25 is ultra logs. Hands down, no competition. It is the single best thing that you can buy. Best value, best everything. Mm -hmm. That costs 1,750 score. What do you actually need to be able to achieve that score? To avoid over farming and hanging around in area three too long, uh, 800k fish is sort of the recommended number. And it is a good number because if you start with 10 ultras at the start of the run, you have 820k fish in A3. Yeah. So it's a really mm, easy cycle, snowball. right? Yeah. But 800k fish is not actually enough to reach the score that you need and make all of the materials that you need for D15 part one, even if you get perfect procs mm. and you've got high worker level and high craft level. Um, so to compensate for that, I usually shoot for 600k apples in area five. And the way to achieve that is to dynamite through until you get to area five, mm -hmm. trade everything out okay. um, and work on your farm, farm resources and stuff in yeah. the meantime. So at the end of your run, you want to have about 20 million logs. Uh, and about 2,000 of each of the farm items. Mm -hmm. If you have those two things, you've pretty much got score. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so well, I guess, what does that mean that we're up to at the moment? So, you're about to hit TT25, you're yep. just about to start entering the end game and the hard stuff. Yep. Um, I am actually in the middle of an ult training run, mm -hmm. uh, because I need to get my coolness level up. Um, and the reason I'm grinding coolness at the moment is because it is necessary for doing D15.2. However, we will cover that in our D15.2 prep video. Yes. But anyway, we have lots planned and mm -hmm. hopefully we're not going to get sick again. There's also going to be no kids in the videos for a little while because um, we've managed to shuttle them both off to school now. Yay. At the time we were recording the dungeon series, it was just before we'd managed to get them both into school. Yeah. Now they're 
out of our way. Mm -hmm. So we can get some stuff done and do it in a much more coherent manner. So hopefully these yep. videos will become a little bit more useful. Yes, we have nine months of, well, seven months of quiet videos. Yes, we do. That was a subtle way of putting it in, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> And the reason yeah, I need to so not cool enough. No, I am I am dank uncool. I am daddy uncoolio. Is that uncool enough? Yep. Good. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs>